So having learned how to do buttonholes on my, on my cushion, I've now got to sew the buttons on. That's another job I hate. But Jane's going to come to the rescue again and help show me that I can actually do these on the yes, sewing machine. you can indeed. There's a couple here. So it's just showing us that we can do different shapes and sizes on the machine as okay. well. There's a special setting for it. Right. So let me just pop these out of the way and show you which foot we use. This foot goes on slightly differently to all the others. As again, you can see it's a little time, and it's got two bars on it. Okay. So again, we need to lock the machine out first. Press the foot. It's the only thing that will work now. Take, pop that off. I tend to keep my feet in the top of the machine when I'm not using them. And again, slips up. There's a little heel on the back, so it will just slip under and slip up. So the foot is rigid now. Right. So now we open up in our button section. We have got here number twelve with a little button. There's okay. a really quick way to get it there, which is, we're going to come out of here, and we're going to go into sewing applications, which is like a little t-shirt on the end. And there's lots of different, really common things that you would use in here every day. So okay. going across, and here we've got the button sewing. Right. I'm going to select that. It's telling me here to lower the feed dog. Right, okay, so, so like for free motion. Yep, yeah, so the feed dog is just on the side and it just clips down mm -hmm. and the little warning will go now. So we've got two different types of buttons here. So we've got the regular button sewing or we can sew on a button with a shank. We've got a little gadget that comes with the machine so oh, you okay. slip underneath okay. to put a shank on the button. And regular buttons are two hole or four hole? Regular buttons are usually two, well they can be either or, two or four okay. holes, it doesn't matter. But the key is most buttons, the holes are 3.5 apart. Okay. There are so, a few exceptions. I gonna, am I going to prove the you wrong? You, you could try. You so probably you will at some point. No, no, they're, so, they're the same, aren't yeah. they? It's really quite Most of them are. Do they're do very do. different shapes and sizes, well, but they're do. basically the same. Yeah. And so, even the fours. Fours are, fours are actually two sets of two. Yeah, they are. They're slightly different. So let's have a look at just a single two. There we go. There we go. So one? we're going to pop it underneath. I'm going to sit it underneath the foot here. This is one of the few times, normally I use my needle up down function, I'm going to pop the foot down, but this is one of the times where you really do need precision because I really don't want to break a needle. No. So I use it manually, it's not easy from this angle. And I would actually take the needle down, I think right. I might need to move it slightly, yep. And I can see that. Once you've done two or three, if you're doing a whole row, you will find that you... Um, You've got, the, you've got the eye in for it and right. it's fine, yeah. So it, it's so semi-manual because you're... It's semi-manual, yeah. Yeah, just taking there it There we go, easily. so it is just popping down here slightly into I've there. You a Once I've done that, say, so use, the, use the hand wheel and it right. gives you really good control over it then. And then... Oh, I see. Oh, wow, so it, it remembers. It remembers, yeah, because nothing's moving, which is one of the reasons we dropped the feed, because we don't want the button to move, do we? <sighs> because then it would break the needle, the button, everything. So it's just scissors. And the key thing to remember is that the flywheel always comes forward. Always, always comes towards you, the flywheel, yeah. whatever you're doing what, with it. Uh, yes. So it's just so straightforward to do. Then I'll take the entry of the back and tie it off. All right. Very, very straightforward. And is again, that? if you're doing a full hold button, you could do a cross on it to get a little bit more of a decorative feature. Use some really funky threads. You could uh, use two different coloured threads. And you, you actually chop the thread, but could, could you hop? Yes, I or suppose you, you could. Yeah. I, I tend to chop idea. it between us. I, like I, would always, I would always cut the thread, yeah. Right. And then we can take that through to the back, pop it into a needle, through to the back, thread it through and tie it off on the back. Lovely. So, wow. So all I've got to do is trim this off, as you said. Yes. Turn it over. And it's all, it's all neat on side off on the back as well. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Who knew? No excuse for not sewing the buttons on now. <laughs> <laughs> Use it all. <laughs>